I've drawn an outline. Now I'm gonna get into the paints. Do I even have all the colors that I need? I don't even know. Let me know in the comments what you think I've drawn. What does it look like to you? What is this? What is this? What is that? What is that? And what is that? Let me know. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, yeah, wow. <laughs> that looks really good, this idea. Yes, that actually looks so good. No, it doesn't, Mom. It yeah, looks it like looks rubbish. like the galaxy. It looks like it. Oh my goodness, guys, what a day it has been. I have not had the chance to even talk to you guys and introduce the vlog. I've had to like just open this vlog up with a montage because so much has happened <laughs> since seven o'clock this morning. I've jumped on a flight with Natanya and we are here in Italy, Milan to be specific. And the whole reason why I'm here is because of Natanya, okay? Natanya surprised me with a trip to Milan. <laughs> Backstory, she initially told me for the last couple of weeks, I've thought that she was gonna be doing a hotel collaboration with a hotel in London and they invited her to like come and spend the weekend at the hotel and create some content, go to the spa, all of that jazz, right? Which is literally what I essentially got to do for the Galentine's weekend I did with Natanya at the Leonardo Hotel in Brighton. So it just happened to be that that weekend, which is last weekend, was happening and then her one, her collaboration with another hotel in London was going to happen this weekend. To my knowledge or from what Natanya had told me, we are both doing hotel collaborations back to back. So mine's one weekend, Natanya's one's the other weekend, right? Why is it that on the Sunday, Natanya tells me actually we're going to Milan? But the way she told me, I was just like, girl, stop trying rubbish, okay? Like, you're just like, stop being silly. Because Natanya does this thing, yeah, where she just randomly like pretends that she's doing something or something's happening and, but it's a lie like she's joking like she's being silly so i just thought this was one of those other moments look at her my journey. Don't even <laughs> my journey. I just thought it was just another one of those moments where Natalia's like, girl, you play too much, you know, like just playing around, messing about. So I didn't really take in what she was saying, kind of thing. I kind of just brushed it off, like, girl, I ain't got time. And plus, I was trying to edit the reel for the content of the Brighton Hotel that we just got back from because I needed to hand in that content. I was distracted, basically. So I wasn't really taking it in. I was like, girl, I ain't got time to play with you. I'm trying to get something done. And da 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 da. So that was that. I didn't think anything of it. Monday, went to go and film with Madam Joyce podcast, Cocktails and Takeaways. Make sure you guys go and check out the episode on Madam Joyce's YouTube channel. Had so much fun filming that. I didn't vlog that day, but you guys can go and watch the podcast episode. I'll put the link in the description box as well for you guys. So that was fun. This Hannah was with me. Yeah, we went to Nando's because we wanted to get something to eat on the way back. Why is it at Nando's? Natanya goes to me, Mum. I've got something to talk to you about. And I was like, what's going on? She's like, you upset me. And I was like, what happened? What did I do? And then she goes, um, I told you that we were going to Milan and you just brushed it off and you didn't, you didn't like, it felt like you didn't care. And I was like, what are you talking about? What do you mean? What are you talking about? So like, yeah, the other day I told you that we're going to Milan and you just like, you just didn't listen to me or you just brushed it off, like you wasn't listening to me, you were like, I don't know, I just feel really bad, I feel like it's been weighing on me that I've done this, I've gone through all this trouble to do this and you just kind of brushed it off. And I was like, hold on a minute, wait, pause, yeah, pause. You were literally like, are we actually going to Milan? I was like, are we actually going to Milan, Natanya? And she was like, yeah. And then I was thinking, hold on, this girl is not, 
playing around like she's actually being serious so literally in the moment at nando's literally it came to my understanding that natanya had three weeks prior booked us flight to go to milan accommodation this beautiful apartment that we're staying in she's booked it she planned the whole itinerary and she did it as a surprise she tried to tell me the surprise and i literally and just didn't me. believe her <laughs> no but natanya natanya i one thing i told to, told natanya is that her delivery was not great because even when i said to her like oh show me your phone then if it's true like show me the like the tickets or whatever she just she, she couldn't even bother to go get up I from she didn't get up she, she, she was she was in my bed in my bedroom and she was telling me this so i was like oh, go like i was kind of like just playing along with her i think this girl's playing yeah go on, show me your phone then if we booked something whatever whatever and she didn't even bother to get up and show me i'm sure if she showed me then she would have got like the proper reaction from me the surprise and everything but she didn't so oh, wow. her delivery wasn't great but also i i'm just i just was just like what are you talking about like that's not like stop playing because natanya plays too much this is what happens it's like the boy who cried wolf because natanya plays no, so I much like i said it seriously though i don't think i see like i was I, th I thought that i knew i i, I thought that i knew when natanya was being serious and when natanya was joking but clearly i don't because about, at this point i just think she's joking all the time i i can't tell she when she's just, being serious i've been i've descent i've been desensitized to natanya being serious okay <laughs> So in okay. Nando's, I literally broke down. I was like, what the heck? Like the reaction that Natanya was trying to get from me on the Sunday when she tried to tell me literally happened in that Nando's. <laughs> when it no came to around. no cameras, where it came to my re it came to my realization that we're actually are we actually are going to Milan and this is actually a surprise. She was lying about the whole um, going to a London hotel for a spa and collaboration. The reason why I lied because I'm smart. Why did I tell you? So she had to lie because I needed to book time off at work. So obviously she wanted me to come with her, and obviously I'm going to support her to get her coins, you get me, and do her collaborations and all that kind of stuff, no as we always do. <laughs> there was no collaboration. <laughs> For your work, I wouldn't have told you like anything. I would have just told you like you wouldn't have known that you were going to a spa or anything. But I had to tell you something. Yeah, yeah. In order to make sure that I could take the time of work, which I did. I was like, as soon as she told me that, oh yeah, I'm going to this London hotel. I need to create content. Da da da. I want you to come with me. I was like, yeah, I'm gonna book the time of work and yeah, let's go, kind of thing. Not knowing that it was what all she, a lot. it was all a lie. It was a lie. I can't believe I actually kept that up. I'm so, I'm so proud yeah, of that. Yeah, and then the she. The I booked it, I already was texting my friends saying, I don't know if I'm going to hold this in for this long. <laughs> I already felt attempted to like spill the beans to you. That is funny. And the thing is, she booked the actual flights and stuff while I was at work. Because I went into the, I go into the office usually on a Thursday, and she was home from uni this that week. So on the Thursday, while I'm at work, and I even called her at lunchtime at work yeah, before I found something. Was open right now. Yeah. Like when you FaceTime me, mate. So by the time I got home, this girl had already booked the flight. And I'm literally. And the accommodation. And the accommodation. I'm literally clueless. I'm just coming home from work as normal on the first day where I've been into the office and she's at home and just carrying on with life as normal. Everything like. I was literally clueless. When I tell you guys, like, I was genuinely surprised. I had no idea this girl had booked everything planned everything got my passport details everything she's done everything like down to every detail and i literally was clueless guys the shock i was so like in nando's <laughs> When it came to my realisation that, like, hello, like, we're actually going to Milan, like, it's actually happening, I'm not lying, like, it's real. I was just like, what? Like, no, I was saying to Natalia, like, literally, no one has ever done anything like this for me. Like, to surprise me with a trip abroad and to Milan, like, what the heck, like... <laughs> <laughs> I literally like not like I've never experienced that before in my entire life so to have my daughter do that for me I was literally like so overwhelmed I was crying in Nando's this girl got me crying in Nando's I was really crying because I was and Natalia was crying as well yeah. 
and it was just like it was just so emotional i was so overwhelmed i didn't know what to do i didn't know what to like i was literally shaking i was in shock and At even that time i actually showed you the ticket because even before you yes because even ticket. even in the nando she had to actually show me the ticket and i just feel like i'm literally i thought that i would be someone that might be difficult to surprise because i feel like i would like think of stuff or like question stuff although i was yeah. questioning stuff oh my gosh he, she <laughs> kept on asking me intricate <laughs> questions details about this so-called hotel that we're going to guys i promise you i literally typed in the first hotel on tiktok i literally went on tiktok london hotel clicked yeah. that one and said we're going there she's all asking me what's the itinerary what are we doing on this day i'm thinking mate i have to think on the spot like this week up <laughs> and also uh, bearing in mind the agency that we work for that i said that set up our management, lab, our management yeah. she, we both work for the same they both we've got the same managers in it so i was scared that she was gonna ask them about this so-called collab that literally doesn't exist <laughs> and they'll be like wait what collab and then she finds out but thankfully she, she didn't ask that and also i basically made up a whole lie saying my whatsapp doesn't work in case she asked me for like to see the messages or to see the itinerary or anything yeah and yeah at least you i guys i literally didn't think anything of it i think kind of also shows that i actually genuinely trust you because the fact that i didn't go digging and asking like because i think you said that georgette um is the person because georgette is the person that for my management team that is kind of manages natanya there's like a whole bunch of people in, in our management management team but just natanya usually deals with georgette so for her to say that georgette has put this deal together with this hotel for her to go and do this collaboration and do this content like i didn't question it i didn't think oh yeah i want to see give me sh show me the proof like i want to see the like do you know what i mean it just highlights like when you have that trust element with your child and you know she feels that she can trust me i feel i can trust her i don't need to like go digging for clues or feel like i need to second guess anything other than the fact that natanya plays too much like she literally <laughs> she literally like, pretends oh, about everything and she's really good at it so now i just because she catch because i tried to catch her out so much i just think that all the time that she's doing it like she's doing it all the time so when it actually comes to a point where she's actually really being serious and she did lie initially but she's actually doing it to surprise me she didn't even I, I did i literally didn't believe her i was just like girl I whatever to surprise someone but you know like it's not even like she didn't believe me as in like you know when it's just like no way like really like, yeah yeah it was all like that yeah brush me like i just i just brushed it off like, like, like girl and i was like, I was like girl i don't know what to do because you know what it is because i um this was weeks in the making i planned your reaction in my head <laughs> for so long so when you didn't react how i thought you were gonna react i just it was like i was um buffering like i didn't yeah react. that's why i didn't like get my phone out or anything i didn't do anything logical because in that moment it was like a freezer spot i didn't know what to do so i'm thinking wait why is she acting like, <laughs> Okay, we'll try again tomorrow, I guess. Like, yeah, and like, and then from that, Natanya was literally just upset within herself. I was like, upset the whole day. She was upset the whole day, and I, I just thought that like, she was just like being in a mood. And you know what was worse? The next day, when we went to Madame Joy, so you better talk. You talk about like what we have to do, and you're like, oh yeah. So obviously next weekend with the spa. And then I think is this woman seriously still calling it a spa? I just told her is that we're going. Milan. Nata the thing is, yeah, Natanya thought that. I was genuinely like just brushing things, yeah, brushing I it off. Yeah, that you knew that I was telling the truth. Yeah. Really yeah, yeah, yeah. And I was thinking to her, girl, come on. I'm pretty sure that where our relationship is like strong enough and not toxic and not in a way where my child will plan a whole trip for me and I, as a surprise and I'm just going to brush it off. Yeah, like, come the, on. The way I was thinking, it wasn't even because like, don't be thinking guys that like, she gives me the vibe that she would react like that. It was yeah. really all in my head because I Yeah, was more, like, is just a very like <laughs> dramatic person. Um, yeah, I was just confused. It wasn't, uh, and, but now that I think about it, I'm thinking, why did I even think that? Because obviously you wouldn't react like that. Yeah. I don't know why yeah. I thought that was the case, but I genuinely thought, no, nah, she definitely knows. You know what it is? Because it, it was so real to me, I was thinking, yeah. there's no way she thinks I'm lying. There's, she, surely she knows <laughs> telling the truth. I thought maybe you just didn't know to how to handle the surprise so you're taking the route of like acting oblivious on purpose yeah i'm thinking like the, but no there. guys i'm the most oblivious person okay i literally i think that's also the situation has shown me that i'm actually such an oblivious person like i just don't like i just don't find i can't fathom certain things so yeah it was i think it also added to, to the surprise as well because i was just like it was something i just wasn't expecting it's, i've never experienced that before in my life and I, it just made me just genuinely appreciate it even more like honestly i gotta 
the best daughter in the world, okay? Yeah. I got the best daughter in the world. Shout out to oh, Natanya, okay? Oh. <laughs> Guys, I want you to go to Natanya's YouTube channel, go to her Instagram, go to her TikTok, and just leave a comment and say, girl, you did that, okay? Yeah. You did that, you did good, okay? And I love that. I love that I'm actually, like, in a position where I can, I'm just grateful that Natanya is in a position where she can do something like this for me and I'm grateful that I'm in a position to be able to experience something like this with my daughter and I just, just thank God, like it's just amazing, it's something that we both really needed um, and yeah, I, I just really genuinely was just overwhelmed and just so happy and just so feeling so blessed, so grateful and I just thank God and we're here, we're here in Milan our first day yeah, has... Goodness, I can't lie. Even though I booked it, even I didn't realise we were actually coming here. Remember, I know. <laughs> now that I'm actually here, I'm thinking, wait, I actually booked it. And yeah, like, like okay. she booked the apartment. Like, we've had a whole day of just itinerary, doing stuff since we landed you know, this morning. Me, it was spontaneous as well. Remember I told you, I thought the night before, I kind of want to go to Milan. And then the next morning, I booked it. Really? So it was also last minute for me, but you yeah. know how I am. Like when I'm yeah. gonna go somewhere, I'll book it. It's always other people that like are the reason why I don't book something. Yeah, look, yeah. From time it was all up to me, and I'm paying everything. I was always getting booked. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> from time I got in my head, it was always getting booked. Ah, uh, <laughs> it's been a long day. It's about what time is it now? Oh, it's 11 o'clock. It's 11 o'clock at night, right? We've been on the road since like seven o'clock this morning. Our flight was seven o'clock this morning. Well, we've been up since like three or four oh. i only had 30 minutes of sleep um because i went out with my mum the night before so and then i had to come back home glue a wig on my head because i didn't have a wig on my head i was wearing a hat the whole day so i had to come home glue a wig on my head finish packing and then i literally only had 30 minutes of sleep I had to wake up at like 4 30 in the morning 5 o'clock in the morning to get to the airport so we can catch our 7 a.m flight and then the flight was like an hour and 45 minutes. Natana thought it was an hour. I don't know where she got an hour from. It was an hour and 45 minutes. Landed in Milan. Got to our um, apartment, which I showed you guys earlier in a little montage. We got to the apartment at around 12, but it wasn't ready for us until 3 p.m. So we just used those hours. We left our bags and use those hours to go and explore and do other things on our itinerary for the day. We went to the Dome Cafe, got some beautiful, delicious mm. pancakes, had a cup of tea, it was so nice. The ambiance, the aesthetics of that um, restaurant is so nice, highly recommend. I popped into Sephora because in the rush of me packing yesterday and this morning, I forgot to put my makeup sponges in my makeup bag. So I had bring all my brushes, but I didn't bring any puff powders, or was it powder puffs? To to, like do my under eyes i didn't bring any sponges so i had to go to sephora and kiko to try and get a sponge which we did we walked around the central area because we're not too far from central milan station which is like the main like central area it's literally like walking distance so we was walking around we went to the the duomo i can't pronounce anything okay because honestly pronunciation of places is not my skills not my forte one thing about milan is they love a tram okay there are trams everywhere like they're one of the main sources of transport is trams i've never been to anywhere in the world where i've seen so many trams on the roads okay but i love it and they all look different some are old some looking vintagey um, and some of them are like more brand new looking like trains on the main road like it's just so odd and so weird but also very interesting as well at the same time we just got back from sip and paint in the dark which is so much fun it's really nice to like just go to and do something that's actually very local it's not very like a it's not really a tourist spot that we went to. We literally went to the equivalent of the hood. Not the hood, but like the local area and went to a local sip and paint in the dark event and it was actually really really good the organizers were literally speaking italian the whole time they didn't care that there were people <laughs> in there that didn't understand because it's such a local event everyone in there is italian and probably just neighbors and people that live locally that were attending or attend regularly so it was was nice but we just didn't understand what she was saying someone had to come and translate everything for us in english <laughs> really really nice really nice experience before that we went to go and get some food the restaurant that was meant to go to there was a massive massive queue 
that one is a restaurant that Natanya found. Basically, Natanya is in charge of the itinerary, as I said. Like, she's planned everything. She's researched everything. That's literally her forte, okay? We couldn't actually eat there because the queue was so long and we didn't want to be late for the sip and paint. So we ended up going to a different restaurant on that strip instead and got some pizza, which we didn't get to finish because, again, we were rushing to get to sip and paint. Brought the pizza back home with us, so we're going to eat that tonight now before we go to bed we've literally been on the go since we landed and then tomorrow we are going to the spa a popular spa that a lot of people go to in milan and we're going to be getting a massage it's going to be really really cute and then we have some other bits and bobs that we're going to be doing tomorrow we've got a whole jam-packed day tomorrow as well trying to fit in as much as we can because we are going back home on monday morning technically we're just here for the weekend which i think is a good amount of time for us to get everything that we need to get done done hopefully on sunday we get to go to lake como unfortunately the weather has not been great like it was literally chucking it down with rain when we landed like we literally when we got off the plane it was chucking it down with rain and it's supposed to be raining the whole weekend but today where it said it was going to rain all day it actually didn't it rained mostly in the morning and then by the afternoon it had cleared up it was dry the sun was even coming out a little bit so i'm hoping that we can get the same kind of vibe for the rest of the weekend and it's not like literally just pouring down with rain the whole day every day but either way we're gonna try and make the most of it we're here and i feel like because it has been such a surprise and such a blessing for me to be here i'm just grateful regardless i feel like we're gonna have a great time regardless whether it's raining or not it's still gonna be good vibes we're gonna do as much as we can and just enjoy it so yeah guys italy milan 2024 let's go <laughs> It's actually quite nice to have like a whole like apartment to ourselves for the weekend. There's an Audi across mm. the road from the apartment and we stopped in there earlier to get some snacks and some bits that we can just grab to eat in the morning before we head out to places. So that's been super, super handy. I've got some bananas, some sweets, some crisps, things that we can snack on. Also got some juice and water, although they provided us with some water already in the fridge. This apartment is literally kitted out with everything that you need from plates to glasses there's even pots as well if you fancy cooking we got cutlery as well microwave like literally everything i showed you guys earlier the cleaning products and the hoover and the washing machine and dryer it's a proper kitted out apartment Good morning guys, it is the next day and me and Natanya are in this massive, <laughs> what is it called, a V-class? V-class? Mercedes V-class. A Mercedes V-class, I don't know why this is the car that we're taking to the spa. In the party in Italy or in Milan and somewhere else, I can't remember, the Ubers, this is standard Uber. This is standard Uber, yeah, just a so regular, you know, Mercedes V-class, yeah, a regular ride. The higher standard than the London one, you're not going to get a Toyota. <laughs> Prius <laughs> picking you up. You, it's called Uber Black. So yeah, we're heading to the spa. What spa is it? What's it called again? QC to Milano. QC to Milano. Obviously, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Yeah, we're not spa. pronouncing anything correct. <laughs> Cusita Milano, which is actually quite a popular spa to go to in Milan. It's like one of those places that you have to see, like Lake Como level. Um, book it in advance. And you have advance. to, yeah, you have to really book it in advance. I, Natalia was telling me today that she actually booked this spa before she actually booked the flight. Literally, when I decided <laughs> we were going to Milan, I booked the spa because I was like, with all our fails, at least we get we'll get to the spa. Like the flights, you can book that. The hotel, you can book that. Yeah. The spa, it was limited. So. Yeah. And it's, it gets quite busy, so... Yeah, especially we're on, it's Saturday today, so it's meant to be quite busy, but try and get a morning slot. Our slot's yeah. 9 a.m. Yeah, it's literally 10 to 9 now, so we should get there very soon. But yeah, I'm looking forward to it. We've got all our, like, swimwear and stuff underneath our clothing. And, yeah, we're getting a massage as well, so, yeah, it should be fun. Excited! Off to the spa we go. Over, over. 
Before the spa is even sparked, it's the chocolate skin of the mind. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you can literally apply lotion and makeup remover, ready to go on tap. Which is so good. Tanya, <laughs> what the heck? Oh my days! This is so stunning. The, the, the glass pool. <gasps> that is so wow. Nice. wow. And this is so pretty. This is so pretty. It's definitely heating pools. I can't remember which town it's supposed to be. In it, that's what I'm thinking. Water sparkling water or just tea. Oh, is that herbal tea?
my legs feel tingly, like it's like a tingly sensation. I'm supposed to walk around in the hot side and the cold side five times around and literally makes your legs, it kind of affects the circulation of your legs. And my legs are feeling tingly, they're feeling light, like yeah. I was a bit like, oh hell no, and it's had to tap out on the cold side because it's actually cold. But I kept on going and honestly, whew, my feet feel light. Love it. Oh, it told you how long it's supposed to even be in each part. 15 minutes. Okay. Do you have any allergies, physical issues? No, mm -hmm. she just has no allergy. Okay, perfect. Yes. Okay. <laughs> when you're ready, face down on your belly and this towel is for cover you. Okay? Yeah. All right. Thank, Thank you. you so much. Guys, the spa was amazing i don't think a spa has ever sparred like that spa it was so good like the actual spa itself is massive like it's such a massive building upstairs downstairs so many floors so many levels and so many facilities like there's literally so many things to do they even have an eating area as well it was just there was just a lot to do we was there for like five hours <laughs> from 9 a.m till 2 p.m and yeah it was actually so good we got a massage the massage was, a, was amazing um, and we got to do the massage together in the same room and yeah the massage was good it needed to be longer i feel like anytime i get a massage like the amount of time that i'm getting it for is just never enough <laughs> like it was 25 minutes but it could have been an hour like it could have been two hours i would have laid there gone to sleep and enjoyed <laughs> it was so so good thank you natanya <laughs> Every minute I'm like, thank you Natalia, thank you girl. <laughs> Every single thing that we're doing, I'm just like, oh, I'm just so grateful. Yeah, we're on our way right now to this pasta place that is meant to be super um, famous on TikTok. Um, by the way, the spa thing is also something that is quite TikTok famous as well. So it does get busy, hence why you have to book it in advance. This pasta place that we're coming to, Osteria de Fortunata, I think that's how it's pronounced. We came here yesterday, we were meant to eat here yesterday, but the queue was ridiculously long. So we ended up getting pizza instead which is still amazing at the other restaurants like a strip where there's food it's four o'clock in the afternoon now and we've just come back to the restaurant to see if we could try and get seats and guess what there's a queue here again at this time of the day as well but the only difference is this time we're not in a rush to go anywhere else so we're just gonna have to wait it out do you know what i mean this strip there's like loads of restaurants and places that you can eat so yeah we're here earlier in the day this time so at least we're not standing outside in the rain
for a night You out of sight You magnified You're only human, yes I know So great to be on the show I hope you know It's okay if you're not sure See my days are cold without Policia. It's the virtual reality. You'll be seeing that video at 360. So when you turn around with the chair and the mask, you, it's like it's you're, you're inside Van Gogh's painting. Uh, it lasts about 10 minutes and it has an extra cost of 3 euros. The only thing is that the audio is in Italian. For the experience, it's worth if you'd like to do it. Oh my gosh, this is so scary. I can't see you guys because I'm inside the virtual reality. But. This is so scary, oh my gosh. This is like I'm floating. Wow. Oh my gosh, this is actually mad. So scary. Wow. I'm literally inside Van Gogh's painting. Wow. Oh, I'm going through the. Ooh. Oh my gosh. 
Wow. Wow. Oh my goodness. Oh my God. Are we getting on boat? right now because we're about to get on a tram I've been wanting to jump on a tram since we got to Milan and we started seeing trams everywhere and realizing that this is literally tram city right and Natanya did not want to get on a tram she's like I don't want to do it you don't want to get on a tram I'm not getting on the raggedy one I'm so sorry if it breaks down while I'm there she wants to get on the one that looks like a train, like the newer looking version, which I think is the one that we're getting on because we're going to be heading down to the shops and stuff. It's about seven o'clock. Yeah, it's, actually it's about quarter to eight. We're trying to go to see if, um, go to the shopping center area so we can like check out the shops and stuff. And then we we're meant to go to Crazy Pizza. And then there was another place that we we're meant to go to. Guys, we're literally just trying to cram so many things in one day as much as we can. And Natana's trying to eat the whole of Milan. Like, she's such a big foodie. All she wants to do is try all the foods and eat all the foods. Where's all this food gonna go? Like, I'm trying to ask her, like, cause we're already full from the pasta we just had. So I'm just like- We only live once, we're only in Milan once. So I don't care if I'm full, I've got eight foods. You that was complaining that you feel sick, that yeah, your stomach yeah, is tight. You digest it, yeah, there's space now. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay. <laughs> But yeah, I'm so excited to get on the tram, guys. <laughs> Yay! 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 <laughs> so excited! Ah! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Yeah. Sometimes we laugh, sometimes we cry, but I guess you know now. Baby. Of course I'm gonna visit every Primark in every country that there is. If you want to see Warp Bar on bootleg, click the link in the description box below. This is a preview. Guys, I absolutely hate Aperol Spritz. It's gotta be the worst drink 
ever. I don't get it. I don't get the hype. But we're gonna get something else. Probably might get a cheeky mocktail, something cute. But it is really nice up here. Like it's beautiful. It's a nice little cute spot to get a drink or two. Get a little bite, you know. I ain't getting no apparel spritz, that's for sure. Okay. Thank you. Oh, thank you so much. It's so good. Good morning guys. It is our final day in beautiful Milano. Literally on our way to Lake Como. Well on the way to the Grand Central Station which is like a six minutes. Is it quite is it called Grand Central Station? Because that's that's in New York, yeah. It's basically the main central like central station in Milan where you can literally get trains to other parts of Italy and all over the place. Think of it as like the Victoria station of London or the Euston station of London or the King's Cross station of London. It's like a massive station, right? Literally like a few minutes walk from our apartment. So walking over there, probably gonna try and get something to eat before we jump on the train. We were meant to get the 920 train but I was running late, so we're getting the train, the next one, which is at 10.20. They come every hour. I think because today is Sunday, for some reason, um, there aren't many direct trains running. So we might have to like change trains and stuff. Yeah, it's going to be a bit of a journey, a bit of an adventure this morning. We're hoping to try and get back to Milan this afternoon so that we can still fit in other things that we want to do. And then there is a football match later on that we're going to be going to. AC Milan is going to be playing. That is super exciting can't wait to go to that later on this evening it's gonna be another jam-packed day explore 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 mm -hmm. yeah. This weekend there's planned train work, so we've had to bless you. So we've had to basically get a, re a replace a rail replacement bus from Lecco, and that's going to take us to Verena. I think I'm pronouncing that okay. So usually there's a train that goes there. The scenery, the views that we've been seeing, is so amazing. All these like high mountains with clouds like it just looks so stunning honestly like look at those mountains up there with the clouds and the snow on the top of them so pretty and there's also one massive one back there as well We have made it 
to Bellagio and it's actually sunny. The weather said it was gonna rain today, but it's actually quite sunny. Ah! We're in Bellagio! 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 Natalia, you're out of breath. We literally only just walked a few steps. A few mom, come on. Let's not, let's <laughs> she not said that it feels like she's on the stairmaster, girl. We literally just walked her bare steps just now. It's literally, we've been walking for two minutes. No, we didn't. Oh. <laughs> uh, Sorry. She said to me, you didn't feel nothing in your legs just then. I feel it, but not as bad as you. We're going to be so fit, legs toned by the time we leave this, this town. How beautiful. Wow. This place looks so stunning. Everything is just like so like compact. It's so pretty, oh my gosh. Like every single corner of this place is beautiful. I feel like taking a picture of the whole entire place. in the area usually when you see Bellagio Lake Como on like videos and TikToks and stuff like that it usually looks quite busy it's about one o'clock right now and yeah I think that it's because we're here during like the off season so it's a lot quieter it's not as busy there's not as many as many crowds a lot of the shops are actually closed but it's still nice obviously like you still get to experience Bellagio and if you go to any of the other towns they might be a bit quiet but you still get to see them still very beauty beautiful but yeah it's it's nice we've just stopped to get food because we're actually hungry I didn't have any breakfast we're gonna get some pizza I love Italian pizza. We both love Italian pizza. So yeah, so we're gonna get some food and then we're gonna walk around a little bit and then we might go back to Verena, explore Verena a little bit. So that was Love decided to come off because my eyes are watering from being on the boat. Is it nice? Is it sweet? So sweet. Really? Is it too sweet? Let me taste it. This is kind of what you would drink. Wow. That little taste that towards the end just feels like sugar. Yeah. But it's nice though. Yeah. Maybe I should get one, but make them less. Tell them less sweet. Not not as much syrup. I need a straw. That looks like some authentic lemon.
I got the diavola and Natanya got the margarita. We are back from Lake Como. We've actually been back to our apartment. Changed outfits. I'm literally wearing a skirt. Oh, cha, I haven't worn a skirt in a minute. <laughs> but yeah, we're on our way now to the AC Milan football match. We're actually in a rush. The time it took us to get back from Lake Como was like three hours more than what we expected. Jumping on the metro. Kickoff for the AC Milan game is 8.45 and it's eight o'clock right now. We was hoping to try and get there earlier so that we can catch like any like pre-game shows and stuff. We'll see you guys at the match. of AC Milan, which is red. I don't know about Natanya. Listen, it is massive. We literally just followed the crowd because as we was on a train, we started seeing people wearing like AC Milan scarves and hat and stuff. So we're like, okay, we're just gonna get off the train when they get off. <laughs> is actually buying a scarf so she can match <laughs> you feeling left out are you <laughs> Oh, <laughs> 
Guys, the game ended at 1-1. AC Milan had so many opportunities to score and it just kept on missing. Very annoying, but great game, had so much fun. And can we talk about how every single player, or more or less every single player in AC Milan is peng? Like everybody is just peng. And then like the people coming to watch the football is even peng too. Everybody, everyone's just peng here in Italy at this point. <laughs> Very good looking Italian guys, okay? <laughs> wow. When you speak all I can hear is silence. Running back from all the pain and violence. Big tune, now it's big tune time, Kenny. Cry now from the shine now, call my name. Fall down when you see me, you know that. You know that I'm stay for you. I will wait for you, for you. I will wait for you. over on Natanya's vlog and I just want to say thank God for this girl's life because I'm literally still overwhelmed by everything just literally did a whole weekend in Milan the itinerary that Natanya put together was busting okay always queen is. of itineraries she's gonna put the details of the itinerary the links to everything that she booked in her description box of her vlog i might try and put it in mine as well if i can but if not just make sure you check on natanya's vlog in the description box she'll have all the links to where she booked the football match booked the van gogh experience immersive experience the um spa that spa amazing 10 out of 10 yeah even if so you come good. to Milan just for one day to go to that spa yeah which I think people do yeah. and I think I would definitely recommend that spa, like it's I've so never good been to a spa like that in my entire life yeah it was so good a spa has not sparred like that ever that I've been to so highly highly recommend things actually packed quite a lot in one weekend and I feel like Milan's one of those places that you don't need to be there for like a week or 10 days like a weekend is enough like plan it properly and or unless you're yeah. like me who didn't get a chance to eat everything yes then maybe go for longer because me personally there was so much other things I wanted to eat I didn't get <laughs> ice cream that whole time guys Natana is such a big foodie I'm not really a foodie like that but Natana is so when food she's is like part of my itinerary. yes food is part of her experience in different countries yes. so she wants to eat so she plans where she wants to eat yes. what she wants to eat all of that kind of stuff so if you can relate to her then definitely try as much food places as possible but everything, then, but everything. then it's not enough time to always eat in the whole yeah day. so that's you might need an extra day, day. yeah that's what I'm trying i mean the needed an extra day just thinking, so she can I'm eat like, why have we only eaten once today? Come on, we've got a tight schedule. <laughs> we need to be eating three, four times a day in this Like, country. Natanya will literally jump, make us jump on a metro, go to different areas of Milan to get to a food spot that she yes. wants to eat. No. That's part of her experience. So, if you're so on I'm it. I'm going to have to go back there. So, I so can she can eat, eat more stuff, yes. And also shop. And it was the same in New York as well. She wants to go back to New York so she can eat more eat. stuff. Yeah, yeah, those things I didn't get to eat. Yeah. 
exact where the food goes i don't know okay <laughs> she just has a me very fast metabolism but yeah it's been such a great trip we're back in london now and i'm also going back to work tomorrow but also I'm also leaving work as well, which I haven't actually updated you guys. I haven't updated you guys properly in a normal weekly vlog in a while, but I'm going to get back to it. I've just been so like hung up on getting the New York vlog out and the New York vlog is out now. And then all of a sudden, Natan is flying me out to Milan. So after this vlog, we'll get back to my usual weekly vlogs, daily vlogs. And well, not daily, but weekly vlogs of me day to day. <laughs> And then we can have like a proper catch up on everything that's been going on with me so far. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this vlog. Please go over to Natanya's Instagram, her TikTok. Please to help me to say thank you to her in the comments. Um, and yeah, I just thank God for her life. And I just pray that God will continue to bless her in every aspect of her life. I, I just, I'm just so grateful. I was saying on my Instagram post, because I posted about it on my Instagram and saying that, is this what it feels like to reap the fruit of your labor? As a parent and I'm just like wow like this is actually how it feels to reap the fruit of your labor so I just thank God so much so yeah I'm, I'm gonna stop talking now because I'm gonna get emotional but I just <laughs> I'm just so grateful to God for this experience and to have a loving and thoughtful daughter to put this together for me is just amazing so yeah anyway, 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 I'll see you guys in the next vlog bye <laughs>